Hey guys, sorry. Um, the beginning of my video actually I wasn't recording. So pretty much all I did in the beginning of the video here is make the outline of my mouth and then just go over it a few times to thicken the skin and allow the latex to kind of make a rubbery uh, layer above my skin. Continue to do that, um, take it over to the other side of your mouth if you want to, and just keep on going over it to make sure it gets thick. The more you start using the mixture, you're going to notice that it's starting to almost uh, become more rubbery. Uh, pretty much what you want to do then is just start rolling your brush, that way it can allow the mixture to clump up a bit and you can create the outer lips of the zombie mouth. Here's kind of an example of what it's going to look like when it starts to drip. Uh, the more messy it is, the better the mouth is going to look, to be honest with you. Just keep dragging that down and uh, pretty much just shape the mouth this way. Remember to just roll it and clump it up a bit. Once you've done a section, you can just put your mixture back into the microwave for about 10 seconds and it will become a liquid again. And pretty much you just want to go over the sections that you already did and fill in any cracks and make the skin look a little bit more softer and blend it in more to your actual skin. Another great thing is, is that you can just take big blobs around the chin area and just kind of gloop them on because like I said, the messier it is, the more you're going to look dead. And pretty much just continue to shape the mouth.
So as you can see, I've completed the outline and I'm just going to take the mixture and put it over. Also, if you have any hardened uh, pieces, you can also add them in random spots to give the effect of skin flaps. Um, it's super easy, you just stick them on and go over them. I've managed to go over most of the skin here, but you can also uh, add some more on the outline of the mouth to connect it to your skin and smooth everything out so it looks more realistic. Now I'm just going to make a little head wound, um, pretty much I did the exact same thing as I did as the mouth, I just put a little base down on the shape and then as it hardened I added some little uh, bumps and stuff to make it look like I really got hurt. Now comes the detailing part. I'm going to take some acrylic black paint. Uh, it's going to go on really easy. It's not going to flake or anything. It's just going to stick completely to the latex mix. And all you're going to do is just take a brush and paint in the, you know, cracks and everything like that and make sure that the mouth really looks like it has been ripped open. Now you're almost done with the black paint, you just want to go over all the little bumps and make sure that there's really no more of the latex showing underneath the paint. Once you think you're done, you can move on to the teeth application. It's really simple, just continue watching and I'll show you how to put them in. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just taking nail clippers and I cut the fake nail in half. That way I can get smaller teeth and I can add more and, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's zombie teeth. To apply the tooth is simple. Just take some eyelash glue and put it on the edge of the uh, tooth. Then take anything like, you know, tweezers and just clip the end of the tooth and push it straight into uh, the latex around your mouth. It's going to stick and the eyelash glue is going to allow it to stay there without it moving around falling off. This is what your tooth should look like. You know, if you want to adjust it, it's fine. Just take the tweezers and move it around. You're going to continue to do this until you have as many teeth as you want. Uh, it's pretty much just preference. And this is what my zombie's teeth look like. Uh, you know, you can add more, you can do whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to take a makeup brush and you are going to make sure it's dirty, you know, put a little bit of eyeshadow on it and put some cover up around anywhere that's exposed. You're going to do that all around, you're going to also do it on your forehead, make sure that you get everywhere on your face covered.
Make sure that you don't forget the forehead area, that's really important. So just go over that with some foundation again and just dab it around. And that's what it should look like. Now is the part for the mouth. I just mix some red paint with some black and all you want to do is go over the bumps. Make sure you get in the creases as well so it looks more uh, realistic. Unfortunately, my camera died, but this is what it's going to look like. Make sure you don't forget that wound on your forehead as well. Uh, now I'm going to take a brown eyeshadow, and I'm just going to take a small eyeshadow brush. Remember, this doesn't have to be perfect, and pretty much all you're going to do is just blend around the outside of the mouth and create a little bit of depth. Don't forget to go around the eyes as well, and again, this doesn't have to be perfect, you're dead. <laughs> Uh, with the eye makeup, as you can tell my eyebrows gone, um, that's because I just took a little bit more of the cover up and blended it around some areas just to blend it out, uh, make it look more bruised and not so harsh and thin. Now all I'm doing is grabbing some more of that brown eyeshadow and just dabbing it around everywhere. That's going to make my skin look really, really dirty and really decayed. Just do that where you think you should put it uh, around your face, your neck, you know, areas like that. Now I'm going to take some fake blood and apply it to the mouth and head area. Uh, I usually would have made my own, but I couldn't find any corn syrup in any of the stores, so I just picked up a tube from the dollar store. After dripping some of the blood on the inside of the mouth, just take a small paintbrush and dab it into the blood and put it on the teeth. That way they look more realistic. You can also um, spread it around a little bit in the mouth inside the cracks and everything so um, the black paint actually becomes moist again. This is what the inside of the mouth should look like. And now we're going to drip some fake blood um, just on the outside of the mouth. Just let it fall down naturally. It will look best if you do that. Uh, I actually... 
actually didn't like how my drips turned out, so I'm just going to dab it and spread everything out. Of course, this is a preference. Now I'm just going to take a brush and spread everything out around the lips just so the blood can cover some of the imperfections uh, where, you know, it doesn't look realistic. This is what the mouth should look like with all the blood spread out everywhere. Uh, of course you can add a little bit more blood in places where you feel uh, there should be more blood. All I'm doing now is taking a makeup brush and using the same dark eyeshadow that I used before and I'm just going to define a little bit of my nose and darken a few more areas to make it look more gory and dead. Don't forget the forehead, add some blood and define that area as well. Once I finished applying the blood, I took a little bit more of that red paint that I used for the outside of the lips, and I'm just going to put it on places that I feel are a little too light and show a little bit of the latex mixture. And here you're nearly done. Uh, you can add contacts, a wig, or anything else that you want to make it look eerie. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think.